Candace Owens is a keen observer of all of this. She hosts a great podcast. She joins us tonight with Reaction. Candace Owens, I would love to see someone die in this country without getting a lecture posthumously. Oh, you died of smoking. You died because you didn't get the facts. You died because you drive an FCV. Can't we just acknowledge death as a sad thing, give it the reverence it deserves, and move on? Well, not if you're a member of the Democratic Party, because they're utter sociopaths and psychopaths. And when they see these tragedies yeah. take place, by the way, this is the same methodology that takes place with school shootings. You would think that we could mourn and we can exactly. be sad, but they say, exactly. wait a second, there are some children that are dead, so allow us to get in front of cameras and tell you why you need to give us more power. I and mean, the fact that they think about their own power and consuming more power when tragedy strikes is, as I said, an example of their utter, that they are utter psychopaths. And what's going on, obviously, is an extreme right. tragedy, but as you pointed out, Tucker, it is a natural tragedy. The Earth has hurricanes. If there was no human beings that walked the face of the planet, there would continue to be hurricanes, like there would continue to be blizzards and like there would continue to be tornadoes. There is no lobby, in my opinion, that should be laughed at harder than the climate lobby because they just keep being proven wrong. Now, when I was a kid, I was told it was global warming. Hide under your desk, kids. The polar bears are going to drown because there's global warming. But they stopped using that language around 2011 because accidentally the Earth started to cool and disproved their narrative. Before my generation, by the way, Tucker, there was a generation that was told global cooling was going to spell the end of the world, except what happened was they were proven wrong and the earth started to warm. <laughs> There, yeah, right. There was the ozone layer. Remember the ozone layer, the hole in the ozone layer. Yes. Oops, that actually wasn't a tragedy, and so they moved on. There was the acidic oceans. There was, there was going to be acidic rain because the oceans were acid. Oops, that didn't happen, and so they moved on. They've been wrong over and over and over again. Their climate models are a complete fraud, and yet they're still allowed to look you in the face when a natural disaster strikes and tell you, well, you know, I know we've been wrong forever and we've never once gotten it right, but give us your money anyways. These people are sick. Well, I completely agree with that. And in general, people's kooky theories don't bother me. You can be a flat earther, a circumcision activist. Well, you can be whatever you want to be. But if you try and take over my power grid on the basis of your ridiculous theories, then I think we have a right to fight back, no? Oh, we absolutely have a right to back back. And where we need to start is in the education system, because my mind was polluted about climate change or about global warming, rather, because they sat us down in health class and they made us watch Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. That was a lie. It never came into fruition. And they keep focusing on these young generations to sell them fear for their own power. You're totally man. No one can sum it up more crisply than you. Candace Owens, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.